Así que. Souvenir. Good evening, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Um, how are you doing? Belen, good evening. Gabby, hello. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Everything is good. Okay. Nice. At least. That's good to hear. Sorry? For now, it's everything okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So that is like kind of good to hear, especially because it's like, oh, it's not, it's not Wednesday, right? Today's Tuesday. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that today was. Oh my gosh, I feel like what's going on here? You're right, today is Wednesday. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, well, for some people, tomorrow is the last day, right? Especially si descansan. So if you gotta uh, rest. Uh, are you having the day off? Are you having the holiday, guys? Yes, teacher. For me, yes. Oh, that's super good. So you're going to rest on class de guitarra. Oh, so you're having guitar classes, okay? Okay, yeah, right. So that is going to be by Friday. So a couple of you guys are like resting on a Friday because it is Father's Day. So congrats in advance in case I forget. Mauricio, so good to see you there. Gabby, great to see you as well. And thank you so much for joining. Super good to have you. Um, well, guys, yeah, today is class number three. For some reason, uh, tengo cruzado los días, like all the days are crossed out in my mind. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, you're totally right about it. Um, we are going to start covering part of the uh, grammatical topics that are included in this unit. Um, that is a little bit of present perfect. Uh, we are going to start checking reduction of clauses too. And uh, um, and we're gonna be just checking some vocabulary for talking about um, like some processes as well. Okay, okay. So that sounds really nice. Good for you, Benedemo. So that is really good for you. Already, okay, guys. Uh, yesterday I asked you to complete one exercise, and that was to memorize or to practice a tongue twister. So I would like to know if you had the opportunity to listen or to practice this tongue twister a little bit. Did you practice it, guys? Hi, Kenya, good evening, Andrea. Hello, good evening. Helen, great to have you. How are you doing? Hi, Arnoldo, thank you for joining. Alrighty, so guys, did you practice the tongue twister a little bit? Were you able to, to say this like a little fast? A little, maybe, no, sort of. A little bit, teacher, but I try. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, that is really okay. nice. Did you find it easy or difficult? Mm, difficult. So, 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 so. <laughs> difficult, wow. A little difficult. Yes, it's because, the, well, in my opinion, it's, it's kind of difficult because the pronunciation of S, I think that that word, it's kind of difficult to, to pronunciate it. Okay, yeah, because of the sounds, right? Because they go together. Um, thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, I got it. Um, all righty. Okay, uh, Mauricio, yesterday this was the homework assignment to practice a, a tongue twister, right? Just to practice pronunciation a little bit. Um, so Judy, great to have you. Thank you for joining. Felix, hello, how are you doing? Let me see who else is joining. Angelica is here as well. Hi, Angelica, thank you for joining as well. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, Ricardo, uh, I'm sorry, what, what was that? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Are you working? It says, I want to buy them. So what do you mean? A que se refiere? What do you mean? Ah, uh, no, es que este, estaba diciendo que, que tal había pasado el día. Um, because I, I want to buy them, it's Me like, equivoqué. oh, Me equivoqué. oh, no worries, no worries, that's okay. I was like, wait, what do you want to buy? Okay, okay, that's all right, no problem. Okay, guys, so let's go over a couple of them. Uh, yes, Mauricio? Mauricio? Maybe a, maybe a little coffee. A little coffee? For the waiter, I, it's okay. I, I feel so lost. I'm like, okay, wait, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, probably that's what Ricardo wants to buy. Is that what you mean? Yes. 
Oh, yes, okay, yes. got it, got it. I'm sorry, my brain is super slow today. <laughs> I guess it's because it is raining, you know? And yes, yes. The, and the weather is, okay, yeah, I think that is what- It's meant. perfect. Okay, yeah, it's perfect for a coffee. Okay, guys, so let's go, let's get started with this little uh, tongue twister, okay? Um, I don't know, guys, if I have any volunteers, somebody who would like to give it a try, the ones you were, uh, the ones who were practicing this just a little bit, right? Um, so the key here is to put together a couple of sounds, for example, works, and then we have in, we don't say them, we don't split them, we don't go works in, mm -mm. we said works in, works in. So we put it together, right? And then in, ah, uh, we don't say works in, ah. Uh, mm -mm. When we are speaking, we put all of them together and we say, so say works in, ah, uh, works in, ah, uh, works in, ah. Uh. So we put sounds together to make it faster. Uh, there, no, let me see. Oh, for example, here we have a shine sheet. So we, put the two sounds together again, right? Um, here we have it again, she sits she. So she sits she, we try to put the sounds together and we finish with shines. And that is um, the way it goes. So uh, guys, do I have any volunteer? Who wants to go? Okay, Belen, amazing, I like it. So it is like, okay. Bye. Yes, Mauricio, you want to give it a try too. So we can listen yes. to Belen first and then we can listen to Mauricio, no worries. So go ahead, Belen. All right. Um, Susie works in a social shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Wow, that was really nice. Kudos, that was really good. Okay, Mauricio, let's go with you. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Okay. Where she shines, she sits, mm -hmm. and where she sits, she shines. Very good. Can you say it again, please? Can you repeat? Okay, no problem. Susie works in a shoe shine, shoe shine shop. shop. Mm -hmm. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Okay, that was good. One more time. <laughs> so Fabrizio, no let's problem, do it no one problem, more time. No let's do it one more time. No problem, no problem. Uh, just, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to help you with this one. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. Shoe shine shop. There you go. Shoe shine okay. shop. There you go. So Susie. let's do it one more time. Okay, no problem. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Oh, that was really nice. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, it's I'm like, repeat it, repeat it. <laughs> no, you did it oh, nicely, no problem, you no did problem. it nicely. Okay. But the idea is to link sounds as well. So very good job on that. Um, Ricardo, I saw your hand up, so let's go with you. Yes. Okay, perfect. The nice see Francisco, so we'll go with you next. Such a world, a searching shine shop where she shine, she shine, a very she shine. Okay, okay, let's, let's say it one more time. So yes, let's do it one more time. Good. The first word is Susie, right? Hi, hi, Carlos, good evening. We are just checking the homework from yesterday, guys. So if anybody practice this, and if, if anybody is ready to say it, like uh, the fastest you bar. can, that is like, all right. Such a word. Thank you, Rafael. Okay. Thanks. The chain chop. Where she shine, she it a word. Oh, no, pardon. Where she she shining. No. Okay. 
Yeah, she shines. Okay, there we go. There she we go. Shines. But this is much better. Very nice improvement. So definitely, muchísimo mejor, right? Now, the more we practice it, the, the better we get. Muchísimo mejor que el día de ayer. Very good job. That sounds nice. Francisco, let me go with you and then Very I go good. with Felix. Thank you. Susie so works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sit, and where she sits, she shines. Oh, that was good. All right, that was really good. All right, Felix, let's go with you. Okay. Uh, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. That is really good. That is really good. Jess, let's do this. Um, can you repeat this word, please? Shines. Shines. Mm, okay, relax a little. Shines. Shines. There you go. Okay, one more time. Can you repeat it? Can you say it one more time, please? Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Mm -hmm. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. There we go. Much better. Okay, good job. That's super yeah. good. Because we got some words with ch, right? And some other words with ch. So very good job. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for doing your homework. And thank you for uh, practicing or repeating this one. We are going to uh, work a little bit with a couple of things today. And uh, I'm going to give you the first homework assignment that is recording uh, at the, by the end of the class, okay? Uh, part of the things that we are going to review today is talking about experiences. So I have to get started this little conversation. Yesterday we were practicing about, we were talking about the sandwich, creating a sandwich, um, the different process that the sandwich development goes into or goes through. Uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about this. So if you take a look, the conversation is still about food. And it says, Alejandro has created a new papa sandwich. Can you imagine a papa sandwich, you know, for his cafeteria, papa's fast food? Uh, his dad thinks it's not worth adding any more products to the menu, right? Oh, like, no, you got too many. So it's not worth it. Teacher. Yes, miss. It's like the ice cream with potato, fries potato. You know, I have heard about that. But I have never tasted that. <laughs> so, it's not, it's not had a weird taste. It's it's something it feels like a, a weird combination, but it's it's not a big deal. Uh, I already heard about um uh, like pepinillas. How do you say pepinillas? Uh pickles. They are pickles. Pickles with mm -hmm. peanut butter. That's no. weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so pickles. Let me write it down. Hold on. Okay, so that is pickles. All right. Pickles, pickles. and peanut butter. Oh my yes. god. What is the other one? Ice cream and what? With fries potatoes. Ice cream and uh, like French fries, right? The normal French, French fries. fries. Yes. Oh no, that's not for me. Guys, have you ever tasted anything else that is super strange? Here they are talking about a papa sandwich. Have you ever eaten a, a, a very strange combination of things? I just remember the, the jalapenos with lemon, you know, and, and, and the hot sauce, but that was not a strange. That's a delicious. Oh, that's a delicious one. If you think, well, for me, something that is very weird, but here uh, to our mothers and grandmas and grandfathers is very common. Mm -hmm. It's the um, eggs with um, alwaiste. No sé cómo se llama. I, I have no idea how to say that. I would say powder, but let me investigate if there is a proper name for that. But I would say, oh, that's from Moro, right? I got to investigate that for you. Thank you for yeah. reminding me about it. But it's okay. very weird. And, and for our parents, it's very common to, to, well, in my family, I usually hear, hear about it, but no. no. <laughs> but that's not something you want to taste. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, that sounds like very unique, actually. Guys, what about the rest of you? 
what is something uh, that you would like to, or you have tasted that is like a very strange combination of flavors? I don't think we have a, a lot of them, right? Just soda and ice cream, probably any other combination or bread and plantain, but I think that they are very common, right? What do you normally combine, guys? Bread and plantain? Oh my God, I am, I don't have it here. So bread and plantain. Have you ever combined bread and fried plantain? What is, is that, teacher? Plantain is like, el, el, mm, it's no banana, it's the other one, el platano. Platinum. Yeah, like teacher, fried plantain. Is that is delicious. Yes, teacher, with cream. This is normal. I do, exactly. For me, that is super strange, but I know oh, that is, people that is a normal. find it delicious. Uh -huh. so what are some weird combinations that you have found? Teacher, beans in a salad. A salad? Beans. With beans. Salad. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. Once it's different, but it's very delicious too. That is delicious. Yeah. I think pollo campero sells one of those common salads with some beans. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? Tell us about your experiences, people. In the planes de renderos, no, no. it's a, a pupusa okay. that plantain and oh. cheese. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you serious? Plantain yes. and cheese. Yes. Oh, is that good? Yes, Rina. It's very delicious. Okay, so um, plantain in my opinion. and cheese. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sounds really interesting. Very exotic. Um, well, in San Miguel, teacher, too. Pupusa uh, with salsa negra. Uh, eh, okay. como, uh, como that si is a scene. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that is scene. exotic. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. it depends because if you are from San Miguel, if you are from La Union, right, that I'm is I'm super I'm common. <laughs> <laughs> so Ricardo says that he's hungry. Okay. Right, <laughs> but in English, in English, Ricardo. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay. someone, someone eat uh, no. pupusa with papelillo. Oh, I have heard yes. about that. I have I heard can. about it. So here they're talking mm -hmm. about these. So it'll work. Like, exactly. It's kind of. I um, know I like a pipe, a sandwich. You don't like bun. sandwich? A so, sandwich? Weird. I'm going to write these words here. Bur burger. It. Chicken. Okay. Chicken. Uh, pizza. Here. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to, uh, if you take a look, when we are talking about food, sometimes we use some of these words. So please repeat with me. We have weird, weird, we weird, 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 strange, strange, strange gross, 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 disgusting, disgusting. disgusting. Okay. So weird and strange, they have exactly the same meaning, right? Algo muy extraño, something super strange, super something super weird. Um, like for example, in I think in La Union, people eat um, tortillas, toasted tortillas with milk, uh, and they put I don't know, soy or it's sugar. Delicious. Uh, exactly. Oh, People say that it's with delicious. Salt. With salt. Ah, with, with salt. salt. Okay. But for me, because I am not from La Unión or San Miguel, this is strange. Now, what about disgusting and gross? Gross or disgusting, we use it to talk about ideas, food, activities, uh, people, things, etc. Que tienen como un mal sabor de boca in the sense of esto es desagradable, you know? or asqueroso. For example, for some people, um, they cannot eat a snake or they cannot eat some wild animals or garros or something like that. Armadillo. And they can say, oh, that is oh, good. Armadillo. It's a little delicious. 
I like armadillo, <laughs> but it's endangered. <laughs> but yes. now it is it is not uh, it is not permitted. You have to remember the love of the animals, teacher. Please. You, you know. <laughs> well, the, I do. <laughs> the eggs, turtles. Oh, I have never eaten that. So. Is it, I don't know, but I guess it's disgusting. Oh, okay, okay, exactly. So we use this gusting and gross, but algo que realmente es asqueroso, right? Something that yes. is gross. It can yes, be sir. people, it can be an like, experience, an activity. Tell me, Mauricio. X2 or duck? Mm, dog? Oh, duck. Duke. Like, like, Duke. like the, the animal? Okay, duck. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, duck, all right. Oh. I have never eaten that. So here we have these product that they are trying to launch. And uh, if you take a look, we have Alejandro, we have also Dad, and they are talking about uh, like the, this new product. Let me read it first, and then I, I would like to have some volunteers. Vamos a intentar unir sonidos también. We're gonna try to link a couple of sounds. So Alejandro says, Dad, I've decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, yeah. Papa's fries, Papa's salad, Papa's chicken. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? Uh, with that, our clients love every single product we have come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch, if you say so. But I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not going to work over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. So they are talking, you know, the, the dad is super supportive. It's like, okay, let's do it, no problem. Guys, let's go ahead and let's practice a couple of words. So, um, the first one that we are going to practice is this one. Guys, repeat with me, please. I've decided. I've decided. I've decided. Already. 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 Come up with. 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 Come up Come up with. 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 Okay, so we put it together. Uh, I think you know this word, complain. Complain. Complain, complain. complain about. And overtime. 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 Okay, so the word overtime, uh, if you work in an American company, also you will see it as OT. So uh, overtime or OT. So, como sus horas extra, right? So, he is talking actually about that. All right, guys. I'd like to have some people help me read this. Um, let me see. Okay, no logré escuchar el día de ayer. I couldn't listen to a couple of guys. Uh, okay, Imelda, let me listen to your voice, please. Help me with the part of Alejandro. And Andrea, please, help me with the part of Dad. Okay. Dad. I have decided to launch the new Papa sandwich. It's going to make our brand more popular and capture more sales. Alejandro, we sell so many products already. Papa's burger, Papa's fries, Papa's oh, okay. salad, Papa chicken, etc. Come on, young man. Have you lost your mind? But Dad, our clients love every single product we've come up with. We have always sold everything we offer. Besides, I think it's about time for a product line extension and time to open a new branch. If you say so, but I don't want to hear you complain about having so much work and I'm not going, not working over time. If you think it's going to work, you're probably right. Okay, thank you so much. That sounds amazing. Thank you, girls. Okay, so let's take a look at the words that we have right here. Uh, first of all, we have the word come up with. It says, uh, but dad, our clients love every single product we have come up with. What comes to your mind? What do you think come up with is? What is the meaning of that word?
So that is come up with, come up. So what do maybe, you think? Yeah? Maybe, well, in my opinion, it could oh. be something, it's a phrase to refer uh, something that he already got it. Uh, okay. Or the product that he got it to sell. Uh, actually, yeah, you're super, super close on that. Yeah, you're right about it. It says our clients love every single product we have come up with. So what is come up with? Like created, uh -huh. all right. Every product we have created or every product we have uh, thought about. So it can be think or it can be created or it can be invented, right? So if I tell you, hey guys, come up with new ideas. So think, create new ideas, right? Come up with a product. So think about a new product to sell. So that is come up with. All right. And uh, we have here also the word complain. Can you give me some examples using complain, please? What do you normally complain about? Teacher, what is the meaning of complain, sorry? Uh, okay, no problem. That's okay. So yes, complain. Yes, exactly. So complain is when you don't like something and you start complaining. Ay, como no. Complejarse? no, 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 no. Complain no is for complace, example. No, no. Ah, complain is for example. Con algo. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. I know today is so hot. I know today is there is too much rain. I know everything is so expensive. Today so have you too complain. Much work. Oh, and we start like complaining about everything. <laughs> Guys, do you complain a lot? Yeah. <laughs> every day, every, every day. Every single day, teacher. Every single day. Okay, what do you normally? So what? Uh, oh my God, I forget that I don't have the keyword. So what do you normally complain about? What do you complain about? About, about the weather? Lunch. About the? Lunch time. Why? Too little? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not <laughs> lunch time. We have to eat and then we have to sleep. We have to take a, uh, a breath. Okay. So you need like more time. Okay. Got it. So guys, what do you normally complain about? About the schedules, about little time for your personal things. Come on, guys. We are Salvadorian. Yeah. We complain about everything. <laughs> about the, morning the traffic, going, about the, the, the morning going traffic. <laughs> okay, money, traffic. Uh huh. What else, Judy? The morning going slow. Traffic. Oh, morning going slow. Okay, I heard money. <laughs> okay, Angelica, what do you complain about, Felix? What do you complain, guys, about? Uh, for the money, to teacher. <laughs> yeah, right. Salaries. We complain that. about Salary. salaries. Monday. About the work. About work, okay. About your boss. About the client. About the yeah. client. <laughs> okay. What it's else? Special that. Especially clients. <laughs> we complain about everything. I don't know. I think it's our culture. About the neighborhood, about the street, about the dog, the cat. You know that everything, right? So that is complain. It says. But if you don't want to, but I don't want to hear you complain, right? If you do it, do it. But don't come to me and tell me, I done <laughs> too much work. So now he said, and I'm not going to, I'm not working over time. Yeah. So the person is like, do it on your own. So let's take a look at a couple of questions we have here. Um, first, we have this nice question that says, have you lost your mind? Yeah, have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind? Are you crazy? Seriously? So they are talking about these experiences. They are talking about these things. Um, they are going to start. So we are going to get started, guys. And we are going to check the following. Give me one second. The following thing. Um, there we go. Let me just erase this. Okay. So, uh, in order to talk about this thing, we are going to need something that is called uh, present perfect or the past participle form of the verb. Guys, es un tema que ya lo estudiaron. You already studied this. This is not something new. But let's do something. Vamos a revisarlos. We are going to review verbs. 
Um, here you have base. Yes. Oh, I'm base. sorry. This is simple. Sorry about that. Me comí la fe. So base, simple past, pero nos falta if uno. We are missing the past participle form of the verb. La pregunta es, ¿se acuerdan? Do you remember the past participle form of the verbs that are here? ¿Alguna vez le dieron lista de verbos? Did you ever get a list of verbs? Presente, pasado, pasado, participio. Did you ever get that? I remember, teacher, that we, we study, uh, we study the simple past. And okay. we talk about the participle verbs, but it's not like so much. Uh, for example, okay. the, the most common being, for example. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, because we use the gerunds, so we have to know some kind of verbs in, in the participle, but we've not studied too much. Uh, okay. Uh, At least I, I remember think you, that. I think you mean, uh, okay, let's review together. Let's review together. Let's give it a try. And uh, if you don't remember that, it's totally fine. No worries. So we're going to do this together and then we try to remember. So, for example, guys, the first one says, feel felt. Do you remember the past participle? Felt. felt. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Yes, you remember them. So this is felt. Okay. What about the next one? Fly flu? Is the same? Fly flu. Mm -hmm. No, is flu, is flu with you? <laughs> close, close, close. Fly, Fly flu. That would be flying. Oh, sure. That would be flying. We have to think about the songs. We have that would be flying. A foil, fell, fallen. Perfect, perfect. There we go. So that's fallen. Forget, For forgot. For hat. For hat. Forgotten. Forgotten. Okay, forgotten. Nice. Hit, 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 hit. The same. That's a change. Okay. May. Hit. May. I Maiden. Maiden. And mm -hmm. it is exactly the same. So that will be made. We don't really change it. Uh, meet. Meet. Met. It's the I mean same. That. Meet. And that is met. the same. Exactly. So I meet, met, and her. met. What about put? So put. Put. Same too. put and put. Read. Rev. And. Is this friends teacher? Thank you, Iris. No problem. Okay, yes, exactly. So read, read, and read. And the last one that we have is send. Send, sent, and send. Sent. Very good. So those are the past participle verbs um, that we are going to be checking. Guys, let's repeat pronunciation together and then we're going to make some sentences. Uh, open, yeah, you can open yeah, your yeah. microphone, that is totally fine. And repeat together with me, please. So, feel, felt, felt. Feel, felt, Fly, flew, flown. Fly, 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 Forget, forget, forgotten. Hit, hit, hit. Hit, hit, hit. Make, made, made. Exactly. Meet, met, met. Meet, met, met, met. Put, put, put. Put, put, put. The most difficult. Okay. Read, read, read. Red, 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 like the red. color, exactly, red. And send, sent, sent. Send, 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 send. Okay, very nice. Now, guys, let's then get started a little bit about experiences. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar estos de acá? When am I going to use these verbs that are the past participle form? Let me write the name on top. So this is called past I'm going to use this to talk about experiences. Siempre que ustedes nos quieran contar experiencias, things you have done, no importa cuándo lo hicieron, but experiences you have had, they have to be told with past participle. So, ¿cómo lo utilizamos? Very easy, guys. Um, in order to tell experiences, I'm going to need a couple of things. 
Les voy a escribir la estructura. You follow me and then we try to uh, give a couple of examples. Obviously, I need to say if the experience is uh, or the subject is I, you, they, we, etc. We need an auxiliary and we need the past participle form, right? So, for example, if I want to say, um, Yo me he caído en las escaleras, right? So I'm going to use the auxiliary have because no es que yo me caí, es que yo ya me he caído. No importa cuántas veces. So y voy a utilizar, I'm going to use this one, the past participle. I have fallen down the stairs a lot of times, yeah? So I have fallen down the stairs a lot of times. Yo me he quebrado los dientes, guys. I have broken my teeth um, when I fell down. Um, so I have broken my glasses. Ya los he quebrado, you know. If you take a look here, no importa cuando pasó. I don't say yesterday. I never say yesterday. I never say ago. Solo me interesa saber la experiencia. What happened, all right? So, guys, ¿cuáles son sus experiencias? Hey, Which hey, are... Bye, bye. Bye. Oh, we are going to make examples in a moment. Just let me go over this uh, next. So, tenemos dos auxiliares. We have two words that we are going to be using. One is have, y la otra es para terceras personas, right? ¿Se recuerdan, guys? Do you remember? Has. Yes, has. exactly. So, for third person, for she, for he, and for it, I'm not going to be using have, but the auxiliary I'm going to be using is, oh, what happened? It is going to be has. El resto no cambia, right? For example, I want to say, ha sido un día muy frío. How can I say que ha sido un, oh, una semana muy fría? How can I say that? It, uh -huh. it has yes. a weekend. Pero necesito un verbo. I need a past participle. I'm going to use be. Pero ¿cuál es el pasado be? participio de be? Be. Was where? Be. Yes. Be. It has been. Ha sido. Oh, it has been a cold day. Right? It has been a cold day. Uy, ha sido una semana bien pesada. It has been a hard, hard. week. Yeah. Guys, cuéntenme su semana. How has your week been? Has it been a hard week? Has it been a, a very easy week? Has it been a nice week? ¿Cómo ha estado nice su semana so far? Has been a nice very week. impatient week. <laughs> a very impatient week? A nice week? It has week? been a rough week. A rough week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about <laughs> it. Okay. I like that word. So a rough. So a rough week, como muy dura, right? A rough week or a rough day. Ooh, ahora fue un día muy duro. Today was, it has been a rough day. So normally we use this to talk about these kind of experiences. Uh, again, we use has para terceras personas and we use have, sorry about this, no me deja escribirla. Um, Okay, there we go. So, and we just have para el resto de pronombres that is going to be I, um, you, we, they, and that will be it. Uh, questions, guys? Questions. Ask questions, people. Nothing. Wow. Wow, I'm impressed. You are so clear. <laughs> Oh, I'm like, come on, guys, ask questions. Le voy a comenzar a preguntar. I'm going to start asking you questions instead. Okay, perfect. So what I want you to do is the following. Vamos a escribir, guys. We are going to write down experiencias. Tell us about your experiences. ¿Qué es lo que han hecho hasta este momento? What have you done? What have you done so far? ¿Y qué es lo que no han hecho? Right? So what have you done? And what is something that you haven't done? Gracias, Francisco. Espero que todo esté bien. I hope everything goes well. Ooh, okay. ¿Cómo expreso cosas que nunca he hecho? Let's take a look. For example, I have jumped, right? So he saltado. I have jumped 
from a, a five meter platform. Okay. So this is part of my experiences. Son cosas que ya las he hecho, right? He saltado de una plataforma de cinco metros. No, not a bridge. I'm still alive. We're not, we're not. So I have jumped from a five meter platform. Yeah. Uh, but algo que no he hecho, I have never, all right? So todavía no lo he hecho. I have never been to Germany. Quiero ir a Alemania, but I have never been to Germany. So hasta este sure. momento, not yet. Yes, miss. I have a, a couple of questions. The Go first ahead. one is, um, it's maybe an observation. And the, um, how do you say? Ah. Los verbos pasado de, tiene, ¿cómo se llaman? Um, oh, regular. Uh, re regular verbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the regular verbs, it's the same. In it's exactly verb. the okay. same. If you take a look uh, here, I am using a regular verb, and it is mm -hmm. easy because if they are regular, only ed, right? Just yes. remember the pronunciation can be different. But yes, regular okay. verbs, irregular. The structure is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then um, I see that you agree that. The never to the sentences. Uh, the never, it, it's like. ¿Qué sería la oración? Es decir, como cómo se no es no es un auxiliar porque no. have is yeah. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué qué 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 papel juega un never? Actually, I'm using I'm using here never to give it a negative meaning. Uh, okay. I can, for example. I can change never for the um, frequency expressions, like always. Oh, I have always been to Germany. Yeah, I've been to Germany. Oh, no. and my, my question is more because- Grammatically. Yeah, because I- uh, <laughs> it's This is a that frequency. Happened to me in, in the last model, because uh -huh. I already know and I already use, but I don't know what I use it. Oh. I only know, I, I, I already know how to put it in a sentences and now I know how to use that word, a ah, frequency adverb. Okay. And that, o sea, ese es mi punto. ¿En qué, en, qué, ¿En qué momento? O sea, para yo saber que está correcto. Porque yo lo he utilizado, lo puedo usar, pero no sé qué es. Well, Miss, what I can tell you is, si usted lo puede usar, You did it. <laughs> so, no se preocupe uh, en cuestiones gramaticales, because at no the end, uh, a menos que usted vaya a utilizar o vaya a escribir, unless probably you're going to write or necesita explicarlo, no necesita como manejar la gramática, let's say, a menos que vaya a sacar TOEFL, right? Or something like that. Otherwise, si lo sabe utilizar, good for you. Y mejor todavía. Much better porque es más natural. So that is more natural. So, but always never se les llama a frequency adverbs in this position. But here okay. you are totally right about it. Yo escribo never para darle un significado negativo. But si no, también podemos utilizar the negative form. I have not been to Germany, right? Aún no he estado, aún no he ido a Alemania. So, Pretty much, that is the point. Uh, yo quería evitar la palabra no, voy a usar never, y digo lo mismo. I'm saying exactly the same. So, um, guys, what about your experiences? What is something, what have you done? ¿Qué han hecho con su vida? What have you done with your life? And what is something that you haven't done? Can you write a couple of examples, please? Uh, at least five sentences. Can you write five sentences? So can you write five sentences? Tell us about tell us about your experiences. So qué han hecho, guys? What have you done? Oopsies.
guys, se está lloviendo súper fuerte aquí. ¿Me escuchan o se escucha más la lluvia? ¿Me oyen? ¿Me escuchan? <laughs> no, si me logran escuchar. La lluvia no también. Problem. No, no okay. problem. Ok, ok, thank you. Se me escucha claro. Se me escucha bien. Thank you so much. Teacher, I put it in the chat.
Get ready, guys. Is everybody ready or do you need more time? Guys, can you hear me? Let's put in for me. I hear you. I hear you too. Oh, okay. Me conecté con el teléfono, and I'm not sure si me van a escuchar like, like with echo or something. Okay, so send your sentences, please. Envíen los ejemplos al chat. Let me take care of them. Let me check them, and I'll let you know. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Thank you, teacher. So I'm reading your sentences, guys. Really nice. Uh, Rafael, your examples are really good, really interesting. Uh, and yeah, I think you have never jumped from a bridge. <laughs> so email them, chicken yours. Oh, they sound really good. You have never been hospitalized. I have gone to a concert. Uh, so email that, which concert did you go to? It was when I was a teenager, I go to the Floricienta concert. <laughs> Where did you go? Floricienta concert. No, did you go to Floricienta? <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Oh my God. <laughs> I love this city, uh, Floricienta so much. Did you go here in El Salvador? Yes, I go to the concert. It was my dream come true. <laughs> no. Oh my God. That, that was, or that would have been like a Disney trip, you know? <laughs> wow. I, I still listen to Floricienta songs and... Uh, I still watch the soap opera. Wow, that was amazing. I you have the, do you have the album, teacher? No. Do you, you remember know. the album? Yeah. When you buy the, the, both the uh, features? I don't know. It's like, like speakers. Oh, was, no, no, no. I didn't know what there is uh, an album. I thought it's you meant the CD. Ya, yeah, es que estuvo de moda hace bastante cuando también salió lo de, lo de fútbol, que se recolectaba oh, la cuchita. En ese entonces no. también sacaron algo así con Floricienta. Wow, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. I never had it. Wow, but I'm like super nice. Okay. Good to hear that. 
Guys, tell us about the rest of your experiences. I visit my mom. Uh, Felix, I am reading your first example. I visit my mom during my vacation. I love that, that example. Um, solo que esto es como una rutina. And uh, normally, present perfect es más como experiencias. Ya, yeah? so cosas que ha hecho y que quizás se repiten o quizás no, you know. But creo que sí va a visitar a su mamá, right? Like, no, regularmente. Es que, no, no, eh, se me refiero porque ella vive en Estados Unidos. Entonces no voy regularmente. Oh, okay, okay, amazing. <laughs> I, I, okay, there, because it says during my vacations. So, solamente vamos a cambiar. And it says I visit. Vamos a agregarle I have visited. Yo he visitado. Or I, yeah, I have visited. I have visited my mother during my vacation. Uh -huh. Because I visit, entiendo que siempre lo hace. Me da la idea que siempre lo hace. And I have visited, es lo he hecho. No importa si solo es una vez, right? So that sounds okay. Nice. Just check the rest of your examples. Mauricio, I love your examples. Really cool. Um, Andrea, let me check yours. I have thrown <laughs> of a large slide. Okay, okay. Um, Cool. Solo un, le agregamos una N a throw. I have learned to ride a motorcycle. Okay. I have never eaten octopus. I have never gotten on a train. Okay. I have never broken my leg. All right. That sounds really nice. Uh, Judy says, I have visited my family. Judy, where does your, your family live? Uh, in Santa Ana, teacher. Oh, pero okay. cerca. Oh. Near, I don't know, near Guatemala? No. In El Salvador. No, I mean, uh, you said that no, no viven cerca. They don't live close. So do they live near Guatemala? Viven mm. cerca de Guatemala? No. So, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have seen my favorite series. I have, okay, ride a bike. Super. Solamente voy a cambiar una palabrita here, que es el verbo. So the past okay. participle should be riding. Lo demás, super good. I have never, I never traveled by train. Okay, and I never traveled to USA. Very good examples. I really like them, Judy. Solo en las últimas dos le vamos a agregar I have. I have never, nunca lo he hecho, right? I have never traveled by train. I have never traveled to the United States. So, para indicar que en mi vida nunca lo he hecho. So, I have never done it. Very Where good. Have... No, no, no. Sorry. I mean, las oraciones están súper bien, pero la idea que me da, I never traveled to the United States. Es como que en el pasado no lo hizo, pero ahora sí. Yeah. Okay. Entonces, es a little you. different, but good, good examples. Thank you. Um, Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. Menedemo, with your. Dígame, Mauricio. Sortuda María, mira. Why? Has been in Niagara. Where? Where? Who? Oh, Gavi. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. What? That's so good. And I'm That's like, Maria, where? <laughs> What? No, are you serious? You've been to Niagara Falls? Oh my yeah, God. I went twice. Uh, well, one with my brother and my mom uh, during the day, and the other one with my cousin and her husband, and was during night. So it was really, really awesome because from uh, the side of Canada, they put some LED lights uh, of oh. colors. So it looks beautiful really, Girl, really good. you have to share that <laughs> so you have I'm to share for that. The photo. <laughs> definitely yes one of them oh yeah you said one of them with your mom and with your cousin wow girl that's amazing so carlos says i have what so carlos you sound like like fine so you have a reading a motocross through a mountain okay Nice. Guys, solamente no se nos olvide utilizar el verbo, sigo con el keyboard erróneo, sorry, el verbo ridden para las motocicletas, caballos, motocicletas, bicicletas, vamos a usar ridden, right? Yo me he montado, yo me he subido. Okay, very nice. 
I have never been uh, in USA or Mexico. Oh, okay, okay. No, I have not been to Mexico. Uh, I have mother, grandfather. Y ya, yeah, Ricardo, solo que acabamos de contar de sus experiencias, las cuales estoy segura que tiene mucho. Si me dice, I have a mother, grandfather, and, and the, y el resto, se entiende súper bien, pero necesito que me cuente experiencias. Ya no es yo tengo, sino yo he. Yo he ido, yo he comido, yo he bebido, right? So estamos contando experiencias. And uh, se puede guiar. So, ah, puede, ya. Uh -huh, sí, y, es puedes, que yo entendí que solo era tengo, pero ya y, lo entendí. Ah, it changes. Entonces se puede guiar de esto, ¿no? Para que se le sea un poco más fácil. Guíese de esto. Subject. Eh, have, okay. lo cual está, lo, esa parte la hizo súper bien, pero después yo necesito un verbo. En, en el diccionario puede buscar el pasado participio, so the past participle of the verb. So, ya no significa yo tengo, sino yo he, right? Como cuando usted dice, I have driven a coaster. So, yo he manejado, yo he conducido, right? If you want to say, yo he caminado 10 kilómetros, so I have walked, porque voy a utilizar walk de caminar. I have walked 10 kilometers. Entonces son experiencias. Yo estoy segura eh, que usted tiene muchas experiencias que contarnos. Así que intente escribir un par, try to write a couple of them, y si no me hice, acá le damos, no worries. So try yes. to follow this. Mm -hmm. Try to follow this. Uh, yes. Let me yes. take a look. Um, Carlos says, I have been in Izalco Volcano. Wow, Carlos, that sounds nice. I have never been to Izalco, but I want to go. My mother and I have made a piercing together. Wow, Gabby. <laughs> that is amazing. Are you, okay. Your mom sounds like a very open woman. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, Angelica says, I have taken two projects at the same time. Oh my goodness, Angelica. <laughs> I have practiced do swimming. Super stress, I imagine. Like a lot of stress together. <laughs> I have never traveled to Argentina. Okay, now neither have I. I have gone to the cinema for vacation. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I have my vacation. <laughs> oh, okay. But are you on vacation right now? No. No, no. Oh. I'm in the hell of the two projects <laughs> no right now so you're talking yes. that no you've taken two projects okay uh are you an accountant uh, no i am an architect you're an architect oh god <laughs> okay okay enjoy it miss <laughs> Thank you. wow two projects at the same time is really cool but the stress, I, I, I imagine, yeah, I definitely get that. Okay, so perfect, guys. Very good job with your sentences and very nice description of them. Now we are going to practice the following verbs. So here we have some common regular, uh, sorry, irregular verbs, but let's think of mask, guys. I have a couple more for you. So, vamos a revisar el día de ahora 20 verbos solamente. We're going to review 20. Veamos cómo nos va. And then I have some exercises for you. Let's take a look here. Wait. Sorry, give me one second. That's my computer. It got frozen. What's going on with my computer? Oh, oh what am I doing? That's why. <laughs> Okay, sorry, my bad. <clears throat> so part of the verbs that we are going to be checking, of course, are a little bit more uh, irregular verbs uh, because we have to memorize these, right? So we have additionally to the ones that we had before, we have here break, come, do, drive, drink, eat, go, give, have, no. So, guys, are you doing that super quick? Help me, like, super quick to get the past participle form of these verbs. So, break. We have break, broke, and? Broken. Perfect. Broken. Guys, really quick, give me an example. ¿Qué han quebrado o qué se han quebrado en el cuerpo? What have you broken? The heart. <laughs> Your heart. Your cell phone. Definitely, definitely. 
Okay. Glasses. The I glasses. Like my teeth. Your no, your teeth. Okay. Well, my sister did it. Did it. Your sister broke your teeth. Yeah. No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you must. <laughs> Have you ever broken a glass in your house? A plate? Um, a, a cup? ¿Alguna vez han quebrado algo de su casa? A TV, a computer. Yeah. How can you say la vajilla completa? <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the silver. We are angel boys. No. <laughs> yes. Silver, silverware. <gasps> Oh my God. No. Okay. <laughs> Nada que uno, you know, the whole no, no, no. set. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that is broken. Then we have the following. Come came and came. Mm. It's the same. It is the same, but come exactly. So come, come came and come. Yes. Okay. Next one. Do. Do did. Done. Yes, done. So I have done. Yo lo he hecho. I have done it, but I haven't done it. All right, guys. Have you done the platform? They completaron la plataforma. Have you done the platform? Not teacher. I've done it. I have done it. Exactly. I have done it. And if I want to say the opposite, no le he hecho. I. I haven't done. I haven't done it. There you go. I haven't done it. So we have drive, drive, drove. You, you say haven't done it. It's yes. it. Ah, okay, okay. Haven't I haven't done, done, it. done it. Yeah, I, I'm just okay. solo uno el sonido, exactly. Okay. So then we have drive, drive, drove. Driven. Drove. Close, 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 close. Drive. Drive. Drove. Very close. That would be driven. 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 Drive. Drove. Driven. Yes. Do. Um, do. Did. Done. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's okay. Sometimes me los como, you know, but it's here. <laughs> okay. So drive, drove, and driven. Drink, guys. Drink, drunk. Drunk, 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 perfect, drunk, drunk. drunk. So, drunk. guys, drunk. tell me, ¿qué es algo like que hayan bolo. probado? Uh, yeah, but in this sense, es como he tomado, he probado, he bebido. Guys, tell Wait. me, ¿qué es algo raro que hayan bebido? What have you drunk? Um, tequila. Okay. Le mandé tequila. <laughs> That is not weird. Completo, <laughs> completo. Dígame toda la oración. Ya se lo reíso. That tastes good, that tastes good. Tequila. Just eh, ahorita se lo reviso. So, give no, me WhatsApp. some examples. Oh, in WhatsApp. Wait, I'm, I'm not in WhatsApp. Give me some minutes, please. So, deme la oración completa, guys. I have drunk. Tequila. I have drunk tequila. Okay. And the rest? Que arriba. Que es lo más raro que han tomado, guys. Yuri, Andrea, Francisco. Chicha. Uh -huh. Okay, Gracias. chicha. <laughs> Del me. Don't taste Imelda. good to rum. Rum, okay. Pero ya pasó eso. Hace anything, 20. Anything, okay. No sé si es con nosotros que está hablando Ricardo. Probably not. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Sorry. Pensé, es que vi que estaba viendo hacia atrás y pensé que con su familia. I was like, no, wait. Is no, no me oye. No me okay. oye entonces. ¿Qué es lo que ha tomado? Sí. Why have you drunk? Eh, eso fue hace 20 años yo gracias a de eso de tomar gracias a Dios oh ok ok so that was in the past no but drug no necesariamente es algo malo right so it's just drinking but it experiences like I have drunk a lemonade or I have drunk some coffee, Salvadorian coffee, I don't know. So not necessarily it is related to alcohol, right? Yeah. Um, I haven't guys, drunk salutaris. Exactly, I have already drunk a salutaris. That's a delicious, that's a or, delicious. Guys, no. have, you, have you ever drunk the, the blue Pepsi? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. good. Pepsi, Coca, Coca. But the, the blue Pepsi. Coca. Don't taste, don't taste good. Uh -huh. I don't like blue Pepsi. Ugly. Ugly. It's ugly. Okay. Okay. So ugly. we have drink, drunk, drunk. 
The next one that we have is eat. Eat, ate, and? Eating. There we go, eating. thank you so much. Eating or eating, ambas están bien, both are good. Uh, go, go went? Gone. Perfect. Gone. Uh, give, give, gave? Mm, close, 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 close. Gone. Given. Given, thank you, yes. Have, have? The captain. Pardon? The, uh, the same, actually. The same. That is the same. Uh, and the last one, uh, no. No new and? The yeah, same. Yeah. The same. No. No. Le agregamos una N extra. So we're oh, going okay. to add here an extra M, and this is the one. Okay, guys. So very nice. Um, so these are the ones that we have right here. So broken, come, done, driven, drunk, eaten, or eaten, or eaten, those are okay. Gone, given, have, and known. Solo le agregamos el sonido extra, right? So very good job. Ahora, guys, vamos a preguntar. We're going to come up with a couple of questions, but ¿cómo hacemos las preguntas? How do we ask questions to our partners? Really easy. So I'm going to go with have you. And le pueden agregar ever o no es necesario sometimes. Have you ever, exactly, también se lo puedo quitar. I can delete it, right? Y luego pregunto, utilizo el verbo. Like for example, have you ever broken? Have you ever broken any bone? Bone, no, no, bean. Okay, guys, have you ever broken any bone? Bone, right? Have you ever broken any bone? Your nose, your arm, your wrist. ¿Cómo le respondo? How do I answer this? I have never broke. Never broke. Uh -huh. Okay, so yes, I have. Yes, I have broken or negative, exactly. So no, I... Y lo puedo hacer más corto. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Or lo pueden agregar más. No, I haven't. I haven't broken any bone. I haven't no, broken have. any part of my body. So yes, I have. No, I haven't. All right, guys. Can you do me a favor super quick here? Podemos escribir cinco preguntas. Can you try to make five questions using this structure, please? Um, I think solo no hagamos preguntas como... ¿Te has bañado? ¿Have you taken a shower? ¿Has comido? Que es, es demasiado obvio, right? Pero si sí pueden hacer preguntas de experiencias que creen que los compañeros han tenido. ¿Alguna vez has estado en el hospital? ¿Have you ever been at the hospital? Yes. ¿Alguna, yes. Ajá, ¿Alguna vez has, has ido al, uh, no sé? Um, guys, ayúdenme. ¿Have you ever been Guatemala. at... Guatemala. Exactly. Guatemala. ¿Have you ever been a Guatemala? Um, have you ever drunk goat milk? Ah, yes. Have you ever drunk goat milk? Yes, I have. <laughs> when I was a little girl. So when I was a little girl. Okay, guys, cinco preguntas. No agreguemos el mismo verbo, please. Utilicemos verbos diferentes. Try to write different verbs. Give you some minutes. Oh my God. So, uh, Menedemo no había revisado WhatsApp. I haven't checked WhatsApp, you know. Uh, so I'm like, what? You have a lot of experiences. Super nice. Okay. Super, super nice. So you're a puppeteer. 
Yes. Aprendió a hacer cosas, eh, aprendió a hacer puppeteer. Yes. And can you cook? Wow. Yes. Wow, super nice. Nos tiene que enseñar pictures too. Wow, that's very, very cool. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Oh Compártalo ahí en la pantalla porque lo vean. Oh, they have it in the they have it in what the WhatsApp group. No me van a dejar compartir WhatsApp here. <laughs> <laughs> me van a regañar. <laughs> no, no, but they can read it. They can read it in the group. No, but that is amazing. I'm like super happy for you. You have a lot of abilities. So nice. Really, really nice. Teacher, I put it in the chat. Yes, miss, I'm checking them right now. <laughs> I have never done it. I've never done it with me all the time. Oh, super nice. Okay. Um, it's all right. All my land, I ever kept away. Mm. Just with this question, have you ever kept awake all night long? Do you mean like que alguien la mantuvo despierta o que usted se desveló? Yes, exactly. Mm. Uh, if you get in, uh, um, how que no desvelo, o sea, amanecer despierta. Yes, yes, I got it. Um, lo que sucede, no. Your uh -huh. sentence is okay. Lo que sucede es que el significado puede variar un poquito. If you yes. say, have you ever kept awake all night long? Es como que alguien más eh, no pudo dormir por la culpa de alguien más, you know? Like, for example, el, los vecinos tenían una fiesta, right? And you couldn't sleep. Um, mm -hmm. So, esa es la idea de kept awake, que alguien la mantuvo despierta. And otherwise, si sí, la idea es solo estuvo alguna vez, has estado desvelado, o des, eh, no has dormido toda la noche, podemos cambiar esa por bien. Have you ever been awake all night long? So cambio un poquito ah, el significado, sí. pero no la estructura. Mm -hmm. The rest Ajá. are really nice. I really like them. They are very okay. good questions. Um, so just this word, Banji Jam. Peter, in the, in the first one, I have a... Uh, uh, trouble because in an accident i try to say but i don't have so much vocabulary but uh, i try to say an accident in a uh, carretera for example but i don't know how to say how to uh, generalizar because i don't want to say a car accident or a motorcycle accident no the point is you have an accident and in the streets, I don't know how how put in exactly it's that way. Exactly that way. So you can say, "Have you ever gotten, or have you ever been?" Siempre se puede utilizar been. Have you or have you ever had? Alguna vez has tenido? Have you ever had an accident on the road? Have you ever had an accident on the street? So road. you can use road oh. or the street. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. You don't, you don't um, 
bungee jump. Ah, okay, okay. Bungee jumping. So, mm -hmm. uh, yes, it, that's another question. Uh, bungee jumping, it's a word. It's, um, how do you say? It's something that you do. It's not a verb and then it's mm -hmm. a bungee. No, it's mm -mm. all, all, all work. Yeah, it's the sport, the sport in which sport, you jump. Right. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It's the same. It's the same word. Yeah. Uh, I thought that it's first the verb and then the activity, um, but I, it's the same. Actually, well, yeah. Actually, se me olvidó I forgot something here. Cause bungee jumping. Sigo con el otro teclado. So bungee jumping lleva un dash. So normally. We got to add, le agregamos como un guioncito. So, ah, es solo una palabra, it's one word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in, in, in this case, it's like you don't have to put in the verb at the first and then the activity. No, it's it's all the opposite because yes. it's the sport. No, what happens is that, uh, ese es el nombre. That is the name of, yeah, the, that, of the activity. It's uh -huh. the number of the activity, yeah. yeah. No, it's, not, it's not a sentence. No es una oración que está diciendo saltar en bonji, no, el no. nombre es salto en bonji. That's correct, okay. yes, okay. that's correct. Let me see, Gaby, let me take a look at yours. Have you ever forgotten your mom's birthday? Yes, I have. Have you and your family made a trip together? Oh, I love that one. Yes, have your bed been operated? Okay, I'm going to check those. Have you ever walked early in the morning in a month? Hmm? Or the beach to see the sunrise. Oh, those are really good sentences, Gabby. Like, super cool. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Have you ever drunk gold? Okay. So, ahora vamos a hacer preguntas. Uh, so, mena demo, we're going to try to make questions. Si se fijen en el chat, los compañeros han escrito, have you ever? Vamos a hacer preguntas, right? about experiences wow i'm super yeah i i know your job is really hard so um intentemos ahora hacer preguntas try to make a couple of questions y igual well, les comparte con el chat right eh, rafael let me take a look at yours um have you ever drunk goat milk have you ever driven a trunk have you ever gotten got it gone in a castle uh okay have you ever been to usa has she ever broken her leg? Okay, the sentences, well, the questions are very nice. Eh, solo la última quizás, like, necesitamos el nombre de quién es she. <laughs> has Andrea, has, I don't know, Francisco, okay. uh -huh, but yeah, they are super good. Have you ever been in El Pital? Have you ever drunk a new wine? Have you ever driven a truck? Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever learned to swim? Okay. Have you ever stand under a waterfall? All right, very good. Mauricio, eh, solo vamos a cambiar el primer verbo. It's a stand. So, the past participle of stand is stood. So, have you ever stood? Have you ever stood up in uh, under a waterfall? Have you ever gone to Jiquilisco? Have you ever traveled? I'm sorry. What is a stood? The past participle of stand. Like, oh, stand up. Oh, I stood up. I have stood up. So the past participle of stand. Um, so travel. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tiene otro significado también, but yeah, we can say para Um A travel area, must ed, please. Just add ed. Uh, Carlos, I'm checking yours. Um, oh, okay, very cool. Uh, solo vamos a cambiar algunos verbos, Carlos. <laughs> Have you ever traveled? Le agregamos a D. Have you driven? Le agregamos la N, right? Have you ever um, driven? Aunque en este caso del, del avión sería flown. ¿Alguna vez has volado? Have you ever flown an airplane? Have you ever broken? Right, le agregamos la N too. Have you ever broken something? Have you ever hurt someone by accident? Yes, all the time. <laughs> Very nice questions. Have you ever had a strange animal in your house? Maybe just insects. Ah, and geckos. <laughs> Felix. 
Have you ever gone to El Pital? Okay. Have you been in La Costa del Sol? Have you played in a synthetic soccer field? Have you ever worked in a coal? Creería que es coal center. Have you ever worked in a concert event? Okay, Felix, solo le agregamos ED al verbo, right? Have you ever worked? Le agregamos ED a work. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, me faltan algunos. I think I'm missing a couple of you, but I really want to go over the practice. So, los podemos terminar en el proceso. No worries about it. Guys, we are going to practice a little bit eh, asking these questions. So, just one more time, revisemos las respuestas. So, um, you can answer, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Y pueden dar más detalles. You can give more details, but in English, please, guys. Let's do that in English. Deme un segundo que no me deja hacer grupos. Deme un momento. Hacer un copión. Sí. Ahí está. Ok. Ok, guys. And we are going to make a couple of groups so you can practice. Guys, these are experiences. Um, if you don't know, you can just say that. I don't know, I don't remember. Um, I'm not sure, but try to answer all the questions, right? So entrevistense, guys. Interview each other and let's go. We have 10, 15 minutes to practice. Go, 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 guys. And please take notes. Tomen nota porque luego nos van a contar, right? So take notes because you're gonna tell us later. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Angelica, your questions are really nice. Oh, Angelica. Oh, no, yeah, she's here. <laughs> 